this tunus reminds me of Odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. As she looked up, Even began to realize that Two Town's name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seemed to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. A dice? Where did you come from, little one? My mom. Let him go! That's right, you better smarten up and look where you're going, or I... Well, <laughs> you're very angry for someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it, it was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. Haven't seen your sister, though. Thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. Oh, uh, not like that. Nanny Fortuna, old lady, right hand of the queen. She is as mean as she is old. Anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. So, it seems like we both have a reason not to like her. The Civil War and Freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> But enough about that. What's up with this dice? I haven't seen a real one in years. I see you're missing a couple of pips, little one, if you're going to go anywhere. You are new, aren't you? A uh, door to three towns forever locked. Uh, keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you, but... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> Absolutely! <laughs> I'm certain the nanny passed my eyes on to the mayor. Of course. If she'd given them to the right mayor, getting them back would be easy, but she gave them to that upside-down one. Ugh, what a nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Listen, even if things were that easy, do you think we'd all be here? Heck no! We'd all be in Six Town, living the high life, relaxing by... Uh, by whatever it is that six towners relax by a pool of gold probably sadly it's not that easy even <laughs> especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor so yeah find my eyes and i can definitely help you so you'll help out old seymour thank you Be careful with that two-faced mayor. Okay, if you need me, I'll be over at the town square, near the door to freedom. Oh, it's a bad place. It's one of the six towns, one for each side of the queen's black dice. We used to be united, but that was generations ago, before the no dice war. Random has seen a lot of war. 
Oh, don't get me started, kiddo. Oh, the town's being ruined by a family of triplets. It's petty sibling rivalry on a humongous destructive scale, with no end in sight. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad large monster. He'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. That I am. Well, one of them at least. Uh, and you, young lady, are... Well met, even. At last, even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town, the administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least, even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, even? You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs? Mine a twister for some colon guys? Grind your... Uh, why don't you take the elevator and step into my office, even? It'll be easier to talk. Beautiful, the upside down town. A shining city in the sky. Do you think I'll get to move up there one day? Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand and then... One day, he was just... There. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even, if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you noticed the changes here, even. Our personality's becoming personified now. Yes, that's what Royam is. He's getting more powerful every day, and I don't know how to fix him, or everything else. I don't know how to fix this town even, and I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? What's that little girl? You want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. 
What? Oh, I never thought of that. Uh, anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. Well, for starters, he's wasting precious time and people on this upside-down project. Secondly, he is bat-dung mad as a hatter and he freaks me out personally. He's my opposite, but at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. Oh, that's, um, that's the Queen's idea. She wants us to build a second Two Town. Duality and all that. It'll be glorious, of course. Everything the Queen does is glorious. But, uh, well, it just seems to be that it's taking its time to get to that glory and, well, uh, never mind. I'm speaking out of turn. Oh, the Queen always knows best. It's like Nanny Fortuna says, the Queen rules by the grace of her black dice, and the black dice never lies. It, uh, it is, yes. It didn't used to be this way. Truth be told, the Tunis in this town can be a little tiring. Everyone being split into dual personalities is what makes us who we are. But building a second city... Exactly. At its best, it is a mad experiment to test my patience, keeping half of the citizenry occupied with useless work while the rest of my town stagnates. Oh, but look at myself lose my temper again. We must trust in the Queen's grand plan for us all, in our duty to ensure that what she wants happens. In the end, it is all fair even. Random rules. I wish it were that easy even, but... Oh, if only it were that simple. I'm just the mayor. She's the queen. I'm a two, and she's a six. I'm simply not a man of action, even. Not anymore. There's nothing I can do. That's very kind, but please, don't. I don't want anyone mad at me, especially not the queen. Nor the Nanny Fortuna. Nor my mother, for that matter. Oh, bless her soul. No, I'm afraid not. You're the first tourist we've had in quite some time. Have you considered spending some time in currency down the wonderful Cellar Street? Oh, good. As mayor, I expect that should make me happy. We've got a new slogan, you know, straight from Nani Fortuna. It's two town where the fun is doubled. So twice the fun. That's something to look forward to. I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royan directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help, and this is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice, and good luck. Greetings, 
my name is Royan, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh... I was about to say that. That's my rhyme. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh, <sighs> Stop interrupting me, I almost had it! Ah! Him, the mayor, don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... <laughs> Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me. What do you want? My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... Stop interrupting my poetry! Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? Good. Very good. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... Ha! Ah, you wish, but that's not the prize at which I'll sell. I'll let them go if you teach me how to rhyme. Competently. Here's my offer, take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Ah, you are good. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... Cooked. I was about to say that. It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps those could be of inspiration. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. Construction is on schedule. Of course it is. I'm the best there is in this construction. You think that was a bad end, have you? Nah. Never mind. Trade it here for a new one with me. Oh, many dicks.
Oh, my disgrace! I was pinned down by those... those vile machines. But now they're scrap. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. Even, huh? Well, you're big even to me now. Big's an honorific, you know. Big Red and Big Even. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this... this horrible place, Big Even? Afraid I can't help with either of those, but I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, named a Little Joe. Oh, you'd remember. Looks just like me, only he's a jerk. I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister! So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. Oh, I was, for sure. And I was of two minds about it for a long time. But now I'm just tired. I know what he did was wrong, and I know he knows it, too. He probably feels really guilty about it. But I don't want revenge. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. And now I can! Thank you! You've really made a difference in my life, Big Even. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique from Papo's Wild Circus, the woman with three personalities. Hmm, miss? I could use that word. A good night's sleep is every evening's prize. Sleep twice as well when you wear sleeping eyes. Sleeping eyes? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Good, good. All is going according to plan. 
I truly am Toontown's greatest male individual. Oh, I'm gonna call. Sleeve in my chest, up my nose, up me well, everywhere. Let's trade. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their body mass, metaphorically. Listen to Crooner Harry Harry's new double length record. Inspired by the new moon of Two Town, it's twice as good as his last album. Croon, that, that's a nice poetic word. A feast for the senses, a balm for the body, a spiritual bouquet? You simply have to try Crazy Cryptid's Chopped Cheese Bloob. Now half price every second Tuesday. Huh. Spiritual bouquet. It's a nice turn of phrase. Yeah. Even had all the materials she needed to face Royam in a battle of rhymes. But did she have the skill? Well, there was only one way to find out. Game Master's beard, what are you doing up here, kid? What are you doing here? This is an active construction site. We have work to do here, kid. It doesn't matter what your name is. You can't be here, kid. Look, I... We're all under a tight schedule here. I can't stop work just to escort you home. So, if, 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 if you promise not to die or otherwise interfere with our work here, I, I'll answer some questions for you, okay? But by the card makers, we can't have kids wandering around an active work site. Come on, get going, before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. She wasn't sure if she was ready, but on the other hand, she wasn't at all certain she'd ever be. So she did the only thing she could. She went for it. This is it, even. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. Is that really the best you've got? <laughs> Come back when you've found better.
everything according to plan. I truly am Two Towns' greatest. So, you want to try this again? Perfect, yes. Let us begin. We shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from Two Towns. Yes. Oh, I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon to look forward to everything the mayor doth. No. So, if you want to try this, we shall pluck the wind. So, if you want to try, we shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the yeah. And we shall be made minions of the moon. Yes! There's no rule that says a poem can talk up the poet some. Well done! Now, last verse. And we shall always swear by the two moons, for they change each day. The upside down town is the only place that offers such a... Such perfect rhymes for a perfect moon. I think... I think I have it, yes. Well done, little poet. You have earned yourself quite a boon. Oh, I am constantly growing, building my body to become a real being. Poetry, on the other hand, this is what will truly separate me from my shallow other side. Oh, but of course, I promise you I will dig into that matter. Meanwhile, I want to give you something else. The highest honor in this land. I grant you access to the second moon's staging grounds. Few have ever had the good fortune to tread on that hallowed ground. Go there, admire it, and then I will give you what you seek. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their... body mass, metaphorically. Beautiful, I guess, in its own sort of strange way. was the famed second moon, Mayor Royam's masterpiece. It was actually kind of a trap. Playing peace is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance.
Open the doorway. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Defeat the adversary to advance. Locked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. The playing piece may advance! Adversary. Defeat the adversary to advance. Blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance.
adversary has been defeated. The playing piece can now advance. A slow time bubble has appeared. The bridge is down. Here come the bombers, more bombers. The game is almost over, but who will win? The playing piece has broken the wall. See, even had a feeling she had broken the moon, and that somehow Mayor Royam wasn't too happy about that. Oh, feeling confirmed. Even, what did you do? At one moment, Royam was a part of me, overseeing the construction. And in the next, he'd torn himself free and went off howling at the moon. There's no saying what he's capable of now that he's free from my influence. Then it is very good luck for us, dear child, that you escaped with your life. Be very careful, even. I don't know what happens next. We're in uncharted territory here. Whatever you do, be careful. Right! Thanks.
starts with a new card. Manny's got what you need.
Hello there, even, you little monster. Royam. You come here into a town full of strangers, and the first thing you do is destroy my beautiful moon. Oh, even, you've made me very angry. Look. If you'll just give me the eyes, I'll... These eyes? You want me to give them to you? I'm not giving you anything, child. But you promised! When I gave you rhymes, you said you said, you said said I earned them, and... Oh, you have earned something. Take a deep breath, even, because it's the last thing you'll ever take from anyone. Foolish little girl. You're going to lose, because I rhyme tight when I follow my... <laughs> ...personified force of creativity? No? Muse! You didn't let me finish! Stop robbing me of my rhymes before I get to them! Only I may ride this lyrical flow, got it? <laughs> Russia! Time to rhyme, battle. I hope your loved ones are ready to cry, because in a few moments you're going to... Dang it, that is good!
I hope people would think you're too shoddy when they discover that you are dead. Uh... Handle this one. You thought you were a knight, but you're a knave, and I'm gonna send you to an early, uh, early death hole. I was getting there. I was gonna get there in one second. My robots will reduce your skin to gelatin, leaving nothing but a gleaming white... Uh... This is the rhyme that's going to end your time here in Random. My parents wanted me to be a goat herder, but I'd much rather be an even... Uh... Silence!
Silence! I was going to think of that eventually. Just an annoying bot in my No, no, I won't go back. I can't go back. It's not. Colossal and terrifying upside down mayor was now stored inside a different and nicer mayor's head. Even and Dicey had done an excellent job, and I was doing an excellent job narrating it. Not that they'd ever realize. Even was learning the world was even stranger and more threatening than in the stories her mother told her. But she was also learning that she didn't have to face it completely alone. Now, all even and dice. They'd made it. Even and Dicey had survived. And what's more, defeated Royam, the dark side of the mayor. But the journey was far from over. Sorry, I, I'll be quiet now. Yeah, I just get so carried away sometimes. It, it, it's just so exciting being a storyteller, you know? Right. Uh, okay, okay. Now, I'll be quiet. Gamers. Assemble. <laughs>